The Indiana Pacers are home for the holidays. They'll have a pair of home games around Thanksgiving as Paul George and the Pacers look to do something they have not done yet this year. That's win back-to-back -back games. And tonight, the night before Thanksgiving, brings in the New Orleans Hornets. It's the Pacers and the Hornets. Penetrate the middle. We'll watch to see if that happens. Indiana 3-1 and one at home. New Orleans is playing just its fourth road game. This is the start of it. Stevenson has the rebound. Good outlet pass, quick outlet pass. Maybe that'll get a Paul George going. He just came in the game, but Stevenson was able to get it off and push it before the defense could even get back. And at the West. Nice cut and a dunk by Paul George. Well, that's what I'm saying, throw it to David West. West is a willing passer. Some guys don't, don't think about that. They had West open momentarily. Yeah, they got to see that. Because they have to hit the front it. Paul George is. Nice extra pass, and Paul hits another. Well, Roy Hibbert started it off with a late pass. Now David West gets it. Extra pass. Here's Paul for three. It's good. Three of them in the quarter for Paul George. He has matched his second half output in the first 12 games. Now Paul George for another three. I mean, so far, the guy that's done the best against the zone has been Lance Stevenson. He's penetrated it twice uh, and was able in the first half. Augustine. Uh, getting out and running. It's George. Throw it up to him. And when I say George, I mean Paul George, who's been pretty much the offense here in this second half for the Pacers. He has 18 points and 14 in this third quarter. Oh, he has traveled, but I, I've got to throw it to Roy Gibbard if I'm going to throw it anyway. Paul George, jumper good. And what you saw there, one of the challenges you have in the grip. He's got size, he's six feet six. Here's Paul George, his three, good! 23 for Paul, and that's the first three-point shot he's made in the fourth quarter this year. It's been a big second half for PG. And if PG has really come alive here in the second half, you, you know, you, you, want, you have a deep team, so you can go a lot various places when you're looking for somebody to get it going. West sees that he's wide open and throws it to him. He thrills the three. Season high, 23 for Paul. Pacers within one. Oh, he's got it. Out to Paul for another three. Good oh. again! He really is feeling it now. Now you got somewhere to go. And you can always look to put him on the side. Right there, quick. One more time. Here's Paul George again. Let it go. Three. go! Let it go! Let it go, Paul George. Let it go. Paul George having his best game of the year. Another three. And the G2 zone goes wild. And the Pacers lead 97-93. G2 zone. That's a foul, too. And here's Paul George for an eighth. Yes, sir. He just got it stuck. An automatic out there. And he has a career high 32. Too well, how last year's most improved player, how talented he is. And Paul has a career high 33. And you talked about wondering if New Orleans would run out of gas. Yeah, right. They have. They have. But that's what the depth of the Pacers should do with the team. And makes a bad pass, saved by Hibbert. Here's Paul George, a three again! <laughs> he barely caught the ball. That was 11 seconds on the shot clock, and he just let it go. Paul That's George the song. has hit nine threes, and he has 37 points. I didn't have to take it up the court. You find a way to get a win. That's all you can do. When it's not going quite your way, live to fight another day. And for Paul George, a guy who has struggled all year long in the second half, he scores 33 of his 37 in the second half.